Now let's take question number 54. In the adjoining figure, ABC is a triangle in which angle B is equal to 90 degree. That means we can say the triangle is right angled at vertex B and it's in circle C1 has radius 3. A circle C2 of radius 1 touches sides AC, BC and the circle C1. And we have to find the length of line segment AB. Here we can see that in the given figure, we have triangle ABC and we have two circles of radius 3 cm and 1 cm. And we have to calculate here the length of line segment AB. So here we can solve this question using this figure. Here we can see that we are assuming the length of this line segment AP. Here we are assuming the length of line segment AP, let this point be P, AP is equal to X as per our assumption. So here we can say this AP is equal to AQ because the tangents drawn from external point are equal in length. So that's why the length of AP is equal to AQ and it is equal to X units. So further here we can see that the length of PB BD, PF and FD are equal to 3 cm because the radius of the larger circle is 3 unit and this angle is 90 degree because AB is tangent to this circle and this is already given 90 degree and here we have the measure of angle FDB is equal to 90 degree. That means PFDB form a square. So here we can further move to this point circle with radius 1 cm. So here we can see that the distance between the centers of these two circle will be 4 cm. How? Fm 3 cm, Mg 1 cm. Further here we can see that the length of line segment GC is equal to 2 unit. Here we can write here the length of line segment GC is equal to 2 unit using the concept of similarity because triangle FDC here triangle F D C is similar to triangle G E C. Clear? Now we have the length of G C, then we can calculate here the length of F C which is equal to F G plus G C. That means 4 unit plus 2 unit will get here the length of F C is equal to 6 units. Now we already have the length of F Q which is equal to the radius of the larger circle that means 3 unit and this angle FQC is equal to 90 degree because AC is the tangent to this larger circle as well as the smaller circle. Now we can apply the concept of Pythagoras theorem in right triangle FQC to determine the length of line segment QC which is equal to 3 root 3 units. So here the length of line segment QC is equal to 3 root 3 unit as per the Pythagoras theorem. Further here we have to determine the length of x. Now we can apply the Pythagoras theorem in this complete triangle ABC. So as per the Pythagoras theorem here we can write AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Here AC is equal to x plus 3 root 3. So we are getting whole square of x plus 3 root 3 on the left hand side. AB is equal to x plus 3. So here we will replace AB by x plus 3. Further we have BC square and the length of BC is equal to 3 plus 3 root 3. So here we have 3 plus 3 root 3 whole square. This is the length of BC square. Now further we have to find the value of x. So when we further simplify this equation we will get the value of x is equal to 6 plus 3 root 3. But here we need the length of AB that means we have to add 3 to the value of x to get the length of AB. Now let us check the options here we have. Here we can see that 9 plus 3 root 3 is the correct answer for this question. Now the answer for this question is option number 4. I hope it is clear to everyone. Now let us move forward to question number 50. Five.